Hello everybody and welcome back to The Rich Life. Today I'm giving you a tour of my winter tablescape. Now, I'm not shy about admitting that I suffer from withdrawal after Christmas because my house feels so bare, especially my table. So for the past few years, I've been doing this winter tablescape look. Now, each year changes a little bit, but the common theme is a quiet walk in the woods. This year though, I did some really big updates for two reasons. One, I wanted to incorporate my gorgeous new shiplap accent wall that I did with the Home Depot. So make sure if you didn't catch that video that you check it out. But two, I really wanted to create a look that was not only beautiful, of course, because you know I love a pretty table, but I wanted it to be really functional too. Usually when you see my tablescapes, I just leave them as they are and then I kind of shift my family to eat at the island so I can keep the look up as long as I want. But now that we are living our best pandemic lives here at Grant Central, I can't do that because we're together all day long, we eat all of our meals at the table, so I really needed to create a balance between form and function, okay? I wanted it to be beautiful but functional at the same time. So what you'll see is a reflection of that. You'll see the first look, which is the fully put together look that I absolutely love. And then I'm gonna show you how I transformed that into an everyday look that we can still actually appreciate the beauty of, but then we can also use as well, okay? So first up, what did I keep on the table? One thing, no matter what I do with this table that will never change, is this River Rocks Runner. It's one of my favorite things that I've ever done on a table and I really, really love it. So that definitely stayed. And then I kept the elements of my centerpiece. I, I kept what's inside, but I just swapped out the vessel. Instead of using the driftwood basket, I'm now using this gorgeous wooden bowl by Pottery Barn. And then I kept my lanterns, but as you'll see, they're not on the table. I wanted them to be part of the look, but not part of the main look, so they're here on the windowsills. For the place settings, I did something really different this year. I actually crowdsourced my first tablescape. So I gave my Instagram followers four options to select from, they had to vote, and the look you see here is the winner. So thank you guys again for participating in that. I think I might do it again. It was a lot of fun for me. At the base of the setting is this beautiful wooden charger and my everyday plates on top. These are all from Target, very reasonably priced and very beautiful. One of the things I really wanted to do with this table was use what we already have in the house. I didn't want to put my fancy plates out, so I styled my look around these everyday plates because I didn't want us to feel like we couldn't uh, you know, mess them up if we needed to. And then on top of those, I've got a beautiful cream fringed napkin and wooden napkin ring from Crate and Barrel. I think they go so well with the look. I love mixing high and low pieces. So while some of these pieces may be a little bit more on the expensive side, I also mix them with pieces that are not so expensive. And I definitely encourage you all to do the same at home because in the end, you can't even really tell. On the ends, you know, I always like to do a little something extra on the ends. I have this beautiful hammered tray that I use here as a placemat. And then on top, you'll see uh, just the regular setting that I used around the table. But really what I want you to see here is how the layers work. Here I mixed colors and textures and materials and it all came out to a beautiful look. So don't be afraid to do the same on your own table. See what you can mix together to make a whole new look. And then I have to tell you, I really was debating whether I wanted to put glasses on the table this year. Normally for this look, I don't put any glasses or stemware, uh, but for my tablescape purists out there, I did experiment with adding just these really simple tumblers. And then last but not least, I have my hammered flatware. This is such a versatile set and I think it's perfect 
for this look. Again, the black here is a nice contrast with the natural wood and the gray plates and the cream napkin. So here is how the look all comes together. I'm very, very happy with the updates and I'm also happy with the way I was able to transform it. And to do that, I just removed my flatware, my napkins, and I put them in a caddy on my buffet, which is right against the shiplap wall. And this came together so, so well. It's just like it was made to be here. And then on my table, I took off the plates and just left the charger. So that's here to give me uh, the style I'm looking for. I want a stylish table, but also again, very functional. So all we have to do is take the plates out of the cabinet, put them on the chargers, grab the cutlery, and there you go. The look comes together very, very nicely without feeling stressed like, oh, we're gonna mess up mommy's table. So I hope that you guys like this look. I mean, so many of you out there helped me put it together, so I hope you like how it turned out. And I hope too that if you are doing a winter look, that you will send me your pictures. Of course, if you have questions, feel free to send those as well. And as always, if you have not already done so, make sure that you subscribe to The Rich Life so that you can keep up to date with all of the latest. Until next time, take care everybody.